today i am going to embroider this design using beads and simple embroidery stitches this line in the middle i am going to do stem stitch most of you are familiar with this stitch keep the thread on the left hand side and take small stitches the center line i am going to use stem stitch for it for this small leaf over here i am going to first fill it in with satin stitch simple stitch don't leave too much of gap then it doesn't look good this way i am going to fill in this leaf after completing the leaf using satin stitch i have taken white beads and i am going to put it on one side of the leaf only just take the bead and put the thread down that's all it's very simple but it looks nice that's all and i am going to put the beads on one side of the leaf only not on both the sides just pull up the thread take one bead and put the needle down that's all try not to leave too much gap between the beads that is all on one side only i am going to do this after putting the beads this leaf will look like this i have done the same thing for this one also for this leaf i am going to use two different shades of blue light blue and dark blue for this also i am going to fill it up using satin stitch do not leave gap between two stitches this way i am going to first fill up this leaf for this leaf i am taking blue sequence and you will put it as you have put the beads on one side of the border only on this side of the border only
and fix it this way. I am going to use a line of blue sequins for the center also. For this leaf, I am going to do a line of buttonhole stitch here. Leave as little gap between two stitches possible. Very little gaps between two stitches. This way I am going to Fill this up. After doing a line of buttonhole stitch, I have drawn lines over here. Just straight stitches on these lines. That's all. That is all. Straight stitches on these lines. For this leaf I have taken maroon sequence. The same way I will fix it. and pull the needle down. That's all. For the next sequence, just leave a little bit of gap. That is all. For this leaf, I have taken white thread and I am going to first fill this up using satin stitch. Simple satin stitch to fill this up. I have started from the center of the leaf. This is the way I am going to fill it up. For the border of this leaf, I have taken a blue string like this. Just 
attach it this way follow the line simply attach it this way that's all attach the string this way that is all just follow the line follow this line for this sleeve i am going to use different colors for this portion over here i have used this color and i am going to do buttonhole stitch for this one simple stitch I'll do the stitches close to each other. The thread round the needle. That is all for this stitch. For this portion over here, I am going to put a row of white beads. I think five or maybe only four beads I will be able to fit in this portion. Just one more over here. That's all. Will not require any more. That's all. Don't require any more beads for this section. That's all. For this small portion over here, I have taken green thread and I am going to do satin stitch. Most of you are familiar with this stitch. I'm just going to do satin stitch and fill up this portion. I have taken a green shaded thread. That's all. For the next portion over here, this also I am going to fill up with satin stitch 
using blue thread. After filling this up with blue thread, I am going to fix this string of beads at the border of this one. Take small stitches and fix this. For fixing it, please take small stitches. Secure the end very tightly. That's all. You may cut off that extra bead. For the last line over here, the last part, I have taken this brown thread and I am going to do stem stitch. Simple stem stitch. That is how I am going to Complete the design. I have done four lines of stem stitch to fill up this gap. After completion, the design will look like this. If you have liked my video tutorial, then kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you.